Hello guys, welcome back. I have already created a video about Lang flow earlier and some of you mentioned that similar to Lang flow, there is also a thing called flow wise. Both of them are doing the same thing because they are just the UI to build and customize LLM using Lang chain, right? So when I went through the flow wise, I find it more interactive than Lang flow. Although the GitHub star is less for flow wise compared to the Lang flow, it seems that this is more interactive and easy to use because there is also the sorts feature being enabled already in the UI itself. So in this video, I will show you how you can download the flow wise in your local computer locally using node. Then we will go through the UI and do the similar kind of things that we did in the Lang flow. Let's get started. Okay, so what you are seeing on the screen now is on the left side, I have this flow wise GitHub repo and on the right side, I have my terminal, right? In this case, we don't actually need to clone the repository, but we are going to install it using the node. So for that, if you scroll down here, it says npm install z flow wise, right? But we need to make sure that we have node already installed in your system. So if you type node and version and it should show something like this and also when you install node the npm is also installed so if you see both of these on your screen then you are good to go or even you can check npx and version because that is all the things that comes when you download the node right now you can just copy this command from the git go to your terminal any folder you want Control v and enter so it is going to download flow wise in your local computer. It will take some time. I will come back when that is done. As you can see on the screen, it took around two minutes for me to complete this command. Once this command is completed, what you can do is just copy this next command, which says npx flow wise start. You can just paste this in your terminal. And when you run this, it will now open in your local host, meaning that you can now use flow wise in your local host it is saying that the flow wise server is listening at port 3000 right now i don't need this terminal i can make this smaller or maybe let me make this one bigger if i go on the browser and just paste localhost 3000 then you can see that your flow wise ui is on your browser i have already tried some of this but let me first go through the ui how it looks like it's similar to the lang flow on the left side, you can see there is chat flows and then there is marketplace where you can see all the different flows that are already being created for us. So we can just go ahead and grab one. I will show you later how it works. And there is the API key of the flow wise. That is all what it is on the left side. Here there is the menu, which you make, can make bigger and smaller. And on the top side, you have the dark mode and the light mode and there is the setting. And this setting, as you can see, it says load database and export database because we can actually load and export the flow wise database. First, I will show you how you can create a simple flow as we did in the Lang flow. Then I will show you how you can take one of those from the marketplace. And I will just show you one example with chat with PDF, one with SQL DB because one of the subscribers actually asked me, can you please show me how we can uh, chat with the SQL database locally with the Lang flow, but I will show you here in the flow wise, it's quite simple. Okay, so now let's go and create a simple flow. First, there is the chat flows, right? And there is this add new icon here. So just click this add new. And now we are in a UI where we can create our own flow. And in this plus icon, this is what I'm saying that this is more interactive than Lang flow where there are all the different components being shown here, like in Langflow where you can go and choose one of those, but there is also the option to sort the nodes. So to create a simple flow, what we need first, we need to provide the prompt, right? So for that, you can just type here prompt and there is the prompt, all the different prompts that are in this flow. So you can just take this prompt template and then drop it here. And now we have our prompt template, right? Let me make this little bit smaller. So what do we need after prompt template? We need to have a large language model, right? You can again go here and you can search for OpenAI. We will use OpenAI for this case. And then here it says there are different OpenAI things, but we will choose the OpenAI wrapper around OpenAI large language model. So we just take this and drop it here. So now we have the prompt template. We have the 
open AI. So what next, right? We, we can go here and then we need to have a LLM chain, right? That is how it works. We need to chain the prompt and the large language model together. So here you can just go here and type LLM chain and you see that there is a LLM chain provided. So chain to run queries against large language model. So you just drag it here. So now we have the prompt template, we have the open AI, as language model and the LLM chain. How do we connect now? This is similar here. You see that on LLM chain, there is language model and the prompts, right? What we can do, let me make this way here. It's easier. So from the prompt template, I can just hover on top of this. I can drag this and place it in the prompt. I can go to this open AI and drag and place it here. So we, we connected the prompt and open AI to the LLM chain, right? What do we need next? We need to have the open AI API key. So you need to go to the platform.openai.com and get the open AI API key. I have already copied. Let me just paste it here. Now I have the open AI API key here, right? What next? Next, we need to have the template. So for the template also, what I have done here is as I, as I have shown in my previous examples, I will just paste it here. You can just paste it here or you can open this in big window and just paste it here. Provide me an imaginary company name that makes shoes, right? So if I just save this, now I have this template being created and the format will be input language, output language as they have shown here in the JSON format. We don't need to change anything. Now we have the OpenAI API key. We have the model. So you can even change different models what we want. Let's put the text knob in 003 for now. And the temperature you can change. You can even have the additional parameters if you want. So let's not go into that now. So now what to do? You can give the name of the chain. Let's just give the name of the chain test. And first make sure that you save this. Because I faced some issue and I realized that I didn't save this. Because in Langflow we didn't need to save it. It was saved automatically. But here you need to go to this icon save on the top right corner, save chat flow, right? And give the name of this. So what we can give is, let's say, test chat flow, right? And if I save this, now this is saved and I can go to this chat icon here and it opens, hi there, how can I help you, right? So I can just say one of the question, what is flow wise? And if I send this, okay, request failed with status code 401. Why? Because I think I provide the open AI API key wrong. So let me go to the open AI place here. Let me grab the open AI API key. Let me replace this open AI API key and save this first. And then I can go to this chat icon and I can ask the same question. What is flow wise? And I send it. So now flow wise solutions. It says flow wise solutions, right? Or I can even say what is Twitter. So if I say what is Twitter and uh, it says tweet corporations. Why this is showing in this way? Because we have provided the template in such a way that provide me imaginary company that makes shoes. What did we provide here? What makes, what is flow wise, what is Twitter, right? So it didn't understand quite properly and it is giving some random answers. But if you provided the right prompt now, so provide me an imaginary company that mix what you can do here in the chat just say here so it will provide you the company name so it says soulmate shoes so that is how it works you need to be really careful what you have in your prompt template and what you ask the question so yeah that is just a simple why this is really good in prototyping as i said in my last video also and for this you can see here there is this code icon if you click this code icon here you can embed this into any stfl file there is this Python also, there is JavaScript, there is even the call. So you can play around with this if you want to implement this somewhere else, right? And the next thing what I said here is in the settings, before there were just import and export database because we were in outside of this flow, right? But now we are inside the flow. So what we can do is duplicate the chat flow. We can load the chat flow if it is in your local already exported. We can export the chat flow. We can delete the chat flow. I have already shown this how you can do in my earlier video. So yeah, that is how we can quickly create a flow. 
Next, what we will do is we will go through a new flow from the marketplace where we will replicate the chat with a PDF. Let me first show you a simple example of SQL DB chain. I will just show you from the marketplace, right? So if you go here in the marketplace, there is the thing called SQL DB chain. So if you click this, this is how it looks like. This is just two different things here. One is OpenAI and one is SQL database chain. So in the OpenAI API key, place your OpenAI API key and you don't need to do anything. And here there is SQL Lite and just place this uh, path here, database file path. If you have followed my earlier video about SQL chain, I have shown you how you can create the .dv file out of SQL, SQL file. Just to show you how it works, I have already created this. So if you can see here, I have provided my OpenAI API key here. There is the model, there is the SQL path, and I have provided my Genoke DB data database, which is in my users and download, right? So if I go to the chat icon, if you see here, I ask how many employees are there? There are eight employees. Just to demonstrate that if the path is not correct, it will hallucinate and give some random answers. If you can see here, I just said how many tables are there. It says there are zero tables because I provided the wrong path. If you provide random path, it gives you random answers without knowing that there is a database there. Yeah, that is how the database chain works with SQL DB. I hope you get the answer now. Now let's go and replicate what I have already shown many, many times, this drawing here. So this is the drawing how you can have the conversation or create a custom chatbot for documents, right? In this case, we will go through the PDF. So here in the beginning, you have the PDF file. What you do is extract pages out of the PDF and you split that into different chunks. After that, you have different chunks. You pass that into the open AIs or any embedding API. And then you have the embeddings for each chunks. Then you build this semantic index and that will be your knowledge base. You can store that in Pinecone, Fires, Chrome DB, and any other different vector databases. Next, what we do is as a user, we ask a question. Then that question is also passed through the same embedding API and that question is being embedded. And then we go to that semantic search index and search for that particular uh, question. We get the relevant answers and that will be our context to the large language model. And the large language model takes in the question as well as the uh, similar chunks. So for the similar chunks, you can take top five, top four, top three, whatever you want, right? And the large language model provides us the answer based on that. That is how the custom chatbots for documents work. So whatever example you see anywhere, this is the flow, how it is being created. So now let's replicate this in the flow wise UI. So what we can do here, if you go to the marketplace, there is this thing called conversation retrieval QA chain. So click this one and click this use template. You go here. Now this is the template here. Let me make little bit bigger here to show you. So what you need, as I said before, here it is saying the text file, but let's replace this text file with the PDF file. So that is how you can use different files because this is not restricted to just the text file. You can do whatever you want, what, whatever document you want. For this, let me delete this one first. And let me go to the plus icon and source for PDF. That is that simple. That's why I said that flow wise is much better, at least for me, than Langflow. If you just type PDF here, it shows PDF file. So just take this and drag it here. So now we need to connect this, right? As there was the text file. So what we need to do, this recursive character is splitter. Just take this and connect to the PDF file, meaning that it will take the PDF file and do the text splitting part, right? And the chunk size, you can pass whatever chunk size you want. And if you want to have the overlap, you can provide that also. So what next? There is this another thing also hanging here, which says that we need to pass this to the vector store, right? So here, if you just take this here and pass it to the vector store. So now we connected that into the vector store. So th there are all the different things here, right? So here is the PDF file. Here is the recursive text splitter. Here is the embeddings. Here is the vector store. There is the chat model. And then we have the result here. 
that is how it works that is what i just explained you in this diagram first you need to click this upload file and upload your pdf file here you can see i just uploaded the 2023 gpt for all technical report so this is the example that i have been showing in all the different videos also and what you, you need to do next is if you go down here we need to provide the open ai embedding so we need to provide the api key right i will go to my open ai website and get the api key control v that is done now next what we need to do is also provide the api key for the last language model right here also i need to provide the same api key that is done and next we need to go to the pine cone and get the api keys for that i will show you how to get that so what you need to do is let me bring the pine cone website here so you need to go to app.pinecone.io and once you are logged in you can create your first index it is free so you can create one index for free so if you click this index just give random name here i can just give flow wise and the dimensions how many dimensions you need to provide 1536 because that is the dimension open ai accepts and you can leave all the thing as it is and create the index so now it will take some time to create the index as you can see here it is saying initializing and all these things when this is initializing let me go back to our ui and here let me see if we need to do something here here okay let's provide this my index name we just wrote that right it is flow wise and you can just provide any name space let's put my name space for now you don't need to do anything and now we need to get the api key as well as the pine cone environment from that particular page right so for that what we can do let me bring this actually here in the same page okay so now what we it is still initializing let me refresh the page it will take some time to create a new index for us it is still saying initializing but you get the idea when it is initializing we can go to this api keys place and there is already a api key and there is an environment let me copy the environment this can be different based on where you are watching this video or where you live right uh, there are different environments for different places so you can go to your flow in this environment control v we have our pine coin environment and now again go to the console and get the api key you can just go here and copy key value go back to your ui and paste it here so now we have our pine cone api key so yeah that's all let me make it smaller here so yeah that is all what we did and that is what we actually replicate what i just mentioned you in this diagram what we can do now first save this so give a name we can say chat pdf for example let me save this and now i can go here in the chat section and i think i provided all the informations let's see let's ask the question from here what is the paper about right so it should give us the answer that the paper is about gpt for all paper because we uploaded that particular pdf file here right so all the thing what i mentioned before again in this particular drawing is going to be taken step by step so there are many things actually happening here let me see if the api index is being created okay it is ready so that means that it should work yeah if you can see here the paper is about a language model called gpt for all which was trained using a diverse data set of prompts and all these things yeah so now you replicated or you created a chat pdf with dragging different things from this flow wise ui and if you want to have more questions you can go here and ask different questions as you want i hope you find it helpful because there were different pieces here and i like this more than the lang flow although both of these are serving for the same purpose it depends which one you want to use because in the beginning as i said in the flow wise it is using node so if you are not familiar to node but there is not that much of the things i just explained how you can do that but if you are not familiar with the node you can go with the lang flow and use the python because it uses pip install lang flow and you can do all the things but with the flow wise it is using node but the steps are not that hard so yeah that's all for this video i hope you find it helpful if yes please give thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please do so thank you for watching and see you in the next video